So in this video, we're going to talk about another cause of low testosterone. Now, in other videos, I've talked about how high estrogen can inhibit testosterone. High insulin will also shut down your testosterone. This is very, very common. High cortisol from stress can decrease testosterone. If you're on a cholesterol medication, a statin, that can reduce testosterone because you're not making the amounts of cholesterol needed to make that hormone. It's a sex hormone and the precursor is cholesterol. Having liver damage can lower your testosterone. Being on a low fat diet can lower your testosterone, again, because of the cholesterol needed to make that hormone. And the symptoms produced would be low libido, impotence, erectile dysfunction, and even atrophy of the testicles. So here it is high amounts of iron. Now, what's interesting about iron is as you age, you accumulate more and more iron. Our body has a very difficult time getting rid of iron. And so if you're getting iron from a supplement or from the fortification of certain foods, like in grains, breads, pasta, and cereal and crackers and things like that, you could be accumulating way too much iron. So you should get it tested to see if it's within a normal range. There's also a condition quite common, it's a genetic condition called hemochromatosis, which a person has a real big problem of regulating iron and they just start accumulating way too much. Here are the symptoms, inflammation in the joints, excessive oxidation, like I'm talking about in the arteries, which is going to then set the person up for heart problems in the brain, which is going to set the person up for dementia and Alzheimer's. So it's a very uh, dangerous thing to have too much iron. Iron is very corrosive in your body. You can look at it as a mineral that can create some serious uh, free radical damage because iron generates uh, a type of free radical called the hydroxyl radical. And this is a very destructive thing in the body, especially to your liver. So too much iron in the liver will cause cirrhosis. It will make you tired. It affects your memory, blood sugar problems, diabetes, etc., etc. So if you suspect any one of these symptoms, the next time you're at your doctor's office, get this checked. If it's high, here are some natural things that you can do to actually re remove the excess amounts. There's a supplement called IP6. I'm not recommending any brand. You're going to have to do your own research. But IP6 is a phytic acid. It's an antioxidant uh, chelator, which actually helps pull iron out of the body. It pulls excessive iron. There's another chelator too called EDTA, which is very, very powerful. I would recommend starting with IP6. You may not need this, but some people take both. But if you take this, watch my video on it because you want to take both of these on an empty stomach because you don't want to be consuming iron as you're taking it, trying to pull it out. It's going to neutralize the effect. So you take this on an empty stomach and it will remove certain minerals. On other times of the day, you can take back in the minerals that you want in your body and focus on the eliminating the ones you don't want. And EDTA will pull out um, other minerals too, like calcium, excessive calcium, especially if you have calcification in the arteries, things like that. But IP6 is a really good potent nutrient to help chelate or pull out excessive amounts of iron. Green tea will also help. Donating blood will reduce your iron. Uh, avoiding iron pills and foods that are enriched with iron. And that definitely includes the bread, the pasta, the cereal, the crackers, those. Intermittent fasting would be very important to start. Number five, increasing zinc. Now, maybe you've heard that increasing zinc will help increase testosterone. Now you see one of the uh, strategies of why it does it. It actually helps lower iron in the body. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.